All right, guys, this should be a quick lesson because it's only the main riff is only two chords, but you know me, I like to get really in detail of what to do with the right hand so you can make it sound perfect. So let me just play it for you to see if you even want to play it the way I play it. So Keith Richards song, you know, looking for my man, whatever it's called, I just found it out. Apparently it's a classic. I love it. I've been listening to it. I've been playing it all day. It's it's my groove right now, so. Believe it or not, there's a lot going on in the right hand and it does make it kind of complicated. So just get your guitar and just get ready to practice, okay? Just get ready to work on very specific things that might not be fun in the moment, but the payoff will be immense because then every time you pick up a guitar, acoustic or electric, you can just go. So just, come on, just, um, just stay focused, you know? We got this. First of all, I'm tuned down a whole step, which means if I'm playing G, a whole step from G would be, okay? And a half step from G would be right here, okay? So you see? So I'm tuned down a full step. And the best way to do that is, you know, when you're tuning your guitar and you're a little out of tune, like on your phone or even a real tuner, but especially if you have a phone tuner, it's easier. Um, you're like, oh, I'm minus three, let me tune it up. Well, to tune to D down a full step, you wanna make that minus three and tune down till it's minus 20. Cause every, um, it, it goes up in increments of 10. A uh, 10 is a, is a half step. So 20 would be a whole step, you know, because a whole step is two half steps. Okay, pretty simple, right? So now that we have that, we're in D because that's what the song is in. You could obviously you don't have to tune and you could play it in. You can play it in E and it probably sounds fine, you know, but I want to play it just like the recording. So now that we have that out of the way, let me just tell you it's an E and an A7 chord. And every chord that I say is gonna be as if we were in standard tuning, just to keep things simple. So right here, it's open A and bar everything on the second fret. You're like descending that or ascending if we're talking about pitch. And just get your middle finger or ring finger on the third fret of the E. And you wanna be able to go like that able to let go so this is the first little section okay so the best way to get this down is you want to do it slow and you you'll know when you have it mastered when you could play it super relaxed and free okay so that's what we're going for here okay so so you're just hitting the bass strings and you're putting a little bit of palm muting on that. Okay, just a little bit. So. Just a little, so. So, downstroke and then upstroke the treble. And then you wanna catch this muting right here. And the best way to catch it is to put your palm, get your, so like the way I have my pick, when I'm going down, my palm will inevitably hit the strings before my pick, okay? Like, there's no way it won't because of the way I'm holding it, so. 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 
just go for the strike down and if you're holding it so your palm is in front of your pick um it will mute it before so you got and then you want to hit the treble strings again but it's a downstroke and you just mute the strings by just resting them here on your right here you don't go you go here okay okay so it shouldn't be too hard it's like this so Notice how there's a in between everything. So then we do a downstroke and then we strike up on the A, and it's only from the B string up to the A. We're not hitting the D yet, so. from the B to the A, so. And I put my thumb here to mute the E. Remember, there's like a lot of little things that make this great, even though in music theory terms, it's very simple, but it's the other shit that does make it complicated. So, so. So once you get that down, then you want to upstroke. So practice that. You can practice that separately. Okay, it's real slow. that palm muting there it's a feel thing you'll you'll get it if you're listening okay and i can't spend this whole video like telling you exactly how to palm mute and what to do because obviously i could but two things would go wrong first of all the video would be too long and second of all you would never gain your independence and your confidence to learn on your own or to trust your ear trust your ear you know you'll know when it's right when you can play it so I gave you the basic tools now to really go for it and play it your own way, okay? There's many ways to play it. I'm not playing it exactly like Keith Richards. You know why? Because I can't. I don't have his feel. I don't have his groove. But guess what? He doesn't have my groove. He doesn't have my feel. And guess what? None of us have your groove or your feel. You know what I mean? You will get it and you get it from experiences from other things that you have learned and if this is one of the first things you learn then you're way ahead of the regular guitar player you're way ahead because this is stuff that you get into way way later with the rhythm and everything because everyone thinks the solos are the hard part and eh, for rock and roll not so much for for other things maybe for orchestra metal sure it's very difficult, right? You got to be precise. But for rock and roll, the hardest thing to learn is your rhythm style. And notice how I say your rhythm style. It's everyone's different. Everyone has their own way of playing. So just keep all that in mind and enjoy. Oh, and I've almost forgot to tell you the bridge. Open E, then we're going to go one. So, so then we're going to go first fret, second fret, third fret fourth fret 
and we're gonna do this minor chord. Just a minor chord, okay? I'm barring everything on the floor and putting my ring finger on the six of the A and my pinky on the six of the D. And I'm going down. And then I'm going a whole step up and I'm using the same shape except I'm putting my middle finger on the six of the G, so. And then right here, same shape, but now I got my middle finger here. And then we're going a full step, same exact shape. So all together. Doesn't really matter how you play it, it's how you wanna play it, for the bridge at least. I'll play it a couple times. And I like going like this. Wait for it. It's just a great little riff, so I hope that helped. If you were paying close attention, I'm sure it did. And if you weren't, I don't know what's wrong with you, bro. Get with it, because this is the coolest fucking riff you could ever learn, okay? And I'm being serious. I don't, I don't do this. I don't get obsessed with two chord riffs like this so often. And it's just crazy, it's amazing, it's perfect. And I just want to thank Keith Richards for still putting music out um, maybe it was recorded a couple years ago it probably wasn't recorded this year but if it was wow and i feel like he's just getting better and better he's he's a great great guitar player that you know people know he's great but a lot of people say he's overrated or that he's shit because he can't play solos or he chooses not to play solos but it's like there's many different ways to be good at guitar okay so Always remember that. You don't have to be the next Steve Vai, okay? Have a good day, and I'll see you later.